you who love cleaning motivation, well, you've definitely come to the right place. My house is a disaster, so let's get cleaning. time since I've done a video on this channel but I wanted to show you the condition of our house there is a uh, stay at home in place and uh, whatever you want to call it for the coronavirus and our son and daughter-in-law both work essential jobs and cannot leave them so we have been caring for their two girls while they are, uh, you can see the baby doll, while they work and they FaceTime the girls quite often. And yeah, our house has just been crazy upside down. We're loving it. We are really loving it. I didn't think that I could <laughs> love it as much, but we do. This vacuum is set out here for two days with the intentions of vacuuming. But as you can see, there's a lot to vacuum around. <laughs> so we haven't done that yet. We're hoping to get it done today. I mean, this just goes on and on. This chair has been moved because our six-year-old granddaughter has a little clubhouse behind here and uh, where she's playing with her dollhouse that my sister so graciously let us uh, borrow. And yeah. There's a little bit of everything everywhere. This is the craziest I think this house has ever been. We have an easel with a chalkboard and furniture moved over here and books and things and mm -hmm. and it just gets crazier. The girls right now are upstairs, a calm before the storm really. It's early in the morning so they're just uh, we still haven't come down for the day with like, all of this stuff. I mean, we've got a winter hat, we've got an apron, we've got games. This just keeps going and going. Over here, we have a big mess. <laughs> Dishes, my husband's running water for coffee. And we're fixing breakfast. Breakfast is cooking on the stove, we made some homemade sausage. And we've got bacon and corned beef hash, and we've got fresh eggs from my sister's chickens, and some homemade bread. We're gonna make into toast. And we have homemade blueberry bread for anybody who wants that. We have lots of everything here. This countertop. It's seen better days for sure. And it doesn't stop there. Let's go into the dining room. This has been the homeschool room. So we have all of our homeschooling stuff set out. And, uh, whoops. Get that chair out of the way. Got all of our stuff set up here. And this is where Riley works. She's six, like I said, um, first grade. This is her desk. Desk was once in a uh, one-room schoolhouse here in uh, the village that we live in. So it's, it's nice that we have it. It's her abacus. And the cards that are scattered all over. The card game, our two-year-old granddaughter came in and she likes to pretend she's in school. So she's kind of created a little mess there. We'll get that cleaned up. And you can see lots of art supplies. And this over here is my husband's work area. He's been kind of shoved into the corner. He's working from home. You can see that we've got one computer over there in the corner and the heater because he is always cold. It's not cold in this house, but he is always cold. So it's quite, quite a wreck in this house. I mean, really, I don't, I don't ever remember it ever being like this. We have a little 
rocking horse here that actually goes out onto the porch, which is a whole other story. <laughs> I think right now we're going to have breakfast. See, my husband's in the uh, pantry. Even the pantry's upside down. I've been cooking quite a bit. And as we enter the pantry, this bird <laughs> has been moved to so many different corners in the house. My father-in-law got that bird for our granddaughters and they love it. Everything they say to it, it repeats. So they love it. <laughs> so This is some kombucha that my husband has started and uh, he loves kombucha so he makes his own. And yeah, we have a lot of stuff here. We have cookies. <laughs> it's such a wreck in here, honestly. I mean, I literally go from one thing to the next and I've got to take a day where I can just have a big clean. My husband's coffee is on. This has never looked this way. I mean, it's just, just we bulked up on groceries just, you know, for the girls. We have extra stuff that we don't normally have, so we needed room on the in the pantry, and the only place is putting it on the counter. We've got a couple of bags of groceries that their parents had uh, gotten, and uh, yeah, this is this is crazy, crazy, crazy. And the snow, it's melting, and that clothesline, that's going to be full a little later on. I am going to tear the sheets off my bed and they are going on that line. I've been dying for this. So let's get going today. So this is where we're going to start because this room is a wreck as well. Not quite as bad as the rest of the house, but it's bad enough. I have been ignoring it and honestly I think through this whole thing I might have made my bed twice, but in my defense I'm still recovering from a broken ankle. I've had my cast off for about a month. Yeah, about a month, about four weeks. So I'm still limping. Um, it's still quite a transition. Uh, my foot will never be the same. It will, I'll always have probably, it'll never be back to normal. But that's okay. I, I have a foot. So I, I'm grateful for that. Uh, so let's just get started. These sheets and blankets and everything just need to be taken out, washed, and put on the line. And I'm dying to do that.
Before I start this room, I just want to show you the condition that it's in. <laughs> I just brought the vacuum in to vacuum in here. Um, packages that come for us, uh, we've been taking them, spraying them down, cleaning them in here, and leaving them in here. Those have been in here for about a week because of the virus. We don't know what sticks to everything, and it seems to um, stay longer in the cold. That's why we brought them in and didn't leave them out. It's still cold outside, and we didn't want that to linger any longer than it um, had to. So uh, you can see over here, shoes and jackets and Lysol and this is a box that our son brought over from uh, our old house and it's filled with uh, apparently love letters from my husband's exes <laughs> from way back in his teenage days so yeah that was a funny find he had fun going through those letters so uh, he just dropped them off to us to go through and this uh, big thing here, that goes in the back of our Subaru. Um, I just haven't put it back in. And we're hoping to actually be able to clean the car because that is a whole other mess on its own too. And here is a um, box of some stuff for the girls that their mom dropped off and spring decor. My boots were there, so I stuck some flowers in them. That's, I haven't gotten very spring lately. <laughs> Okay, and these are some tablet um, protectors. They're cases. Uh, they're too small. They're too small for the girls' tablets, so I've got to send those back and uh, order some more. And that cooler seems to have found a home back there. I need to get it into the Subaru. So, yeah, let's, um, let's just tackle this whole mess and get started. While I've been cleaning, the crew has gotten up and we're getting ready for breakfast. Somebody's having a little a little snack before breakfast. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this food you set before us. Please bless this food. Please bless these little girls that sit at our table. And we thank you for this beautiful day, Lord mm. Jesus. We pray this all through your sweet name. Amen. Amen. The Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit.
vacuum, but I still need to do the floor around it. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the rug up. We generally take it up for the summer and um, clean it and put it away just for the summer because, I mean, I don't know, we just keep it up for the winter. We're, there's so much traffic going in and out this back door in the summer that uh, it's easier to clean the floor than it is the rug. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now. My husband is outside with the kids entertaining them <laughs> because I've been at this door every 30 seconds. <laughs> So he's entertaining them. I'm going to do this real quick. So let's get to it.
I feel so much better that everything is back to normal. Wow. Normal for about, I don't know, maybe the next 10 minutes. <laughs> it's looking a lot better. I mean, just having that rug out of there right now where the weather is starting to get better. The kids are in and out of the porch um, during, you know, on nice days. It just feels better. The kitchen, well, there's still a few things out of place. That's actually the second time I've done dishes. So what you're seeing there is the second batch of dishes that I had done. But dishes are an ongoing thing in my house. Now the pantry, not a lot has changed, but it did get picked up a bit. There's still a lot of things on the counter, but those are going to have to stay there because they're just extras while the girls are staying with us. But I do feel better. Everything is quite a bit more picked up than it was. And I really just needed that. So everything is done and I have to tell you that it is 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> it literally took me all day to get everything finished. The kids are in bed. It's been a wild day. All my days are wild lately and I never know one day from the next except that they're all wild. <laughs> But I am so glad to be back and hopefully I can throw in a few more videos here and there. It's been, it's been tough. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I've, I'm, I'm juggling a lot of things right now. So it's still, it's, it's been good. And thank you for joining me. I hope everyone is safe and I hope everyone is healthy. And uh, this is a crazy mess for all of us. I'm hoping it'll be over soon. I'm sure a lot of you are hoping the same thing. And subscribe if you're new. Um, give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below. And until next time. <laughs>